The new Concept U, just presented at the Frankfurt Motor Show, is a further development of the Concept Universe that was presented in Shanghai earlier this year. Interviews with customers and others here in China have been an important part of development operations. They have also listened closely to opinions from social media. The goal has been to build a sporty and luxury saloon concept design around modern people. The car is now painted. We're starting to see the interior bits being mounted and it looks very, very good. I like what I see. Volvo's chief designer, Peter Horbury, wants to heighten the feeling, technology and quality in this car to a completely new level. The car is um, very much part of our search for the new Volvo look. Um, it is a bit of market research, the type of car, how sporty can a sedan be, and this is extremely sporty. This has a fastback where the, the universe had what we call a notchback, albeit a sporty one, um, because we, we like to know what the customers of the future will, uh, would like to see. Volvo's strategy is to design cars around customers' needs and lifestyles. Well, it is not only that we show the design, we are also showing uh, another attitude of uh, Volvo, which is to be intuitive. We want to make life more uncomplicated for our customers and for our drivers. And this is a very good example in which direction we want to go. The new Concept U also gives a good indication as to what the next generation of Volvo cars may look like. Well, I can't tell too much about the future, but obviously we're looking at this seriously and presenting it in public to get reaction. Serious questions are asked uh, to visitors to our show stand about what they think of this, um, especially as I referred to the profile of the car. But of course we're using design cues from uh, Heritage. There's a little bit of PV 544 in it, a little bit of Amazon, uh, not to the point where you could point to details and say, oh, that's directly from either of those cars. But we use the heritage in a clever way. We, we don't do retro design. We, we don't repeat the past, but we might remind of the past. And that's what's in this car. It's a thoroughly modern design, but uh, using some cues from our, our past to, to create a real Volvo. New advanced technology plays a very important role in this car. It should be easy to drive Volvo. We feel things should be intuitive and so simple that it's obvious as to what to do. And it's like when you buy an iPad or an iPod or an iPhone, you don't need the book of instructions. You know what to do instinctively. That's exactly what getting into a Volvo should be in the future. That you know what to do instinctively. And this car is representing the first step in that, that move.